Yo, what's good people, welcome to day 77, another weight loss transformation, my transformation, most importantly of all, the lifestyle transformation. So back down again now after hitting 336 pounds, we are below that 335, only 0.2 pounds off our low weigh-in on Monday, which is absolutely amazing, and it's to be expected people, we have the refeed, we have the carbohydrates, we hold on to water, we replenish our stores, and then as the week goes on, we burn through them. So very happy with that we'll see where we can end up at the end of the week I, I did touch on this in a video a couple days ago that this week's going to be a bit different because it is my birthday next Wednesday and I don't want to be in too steep a deficit heading into my birthday I don't want to push those extra days only because I'll be more likely to go crazy on my birthday of course I'm going to enjoy foods and treats and maybe some alcohol and things who knows yet but I don't want to be that absolutely ravenous, push myself too, too hard. And that's one of the benefits of these refeeds. Not only do I get to enjoy certain foods, it's the frequency. Once a week, I'm not going too long without having some treats and things. And if you're not aware what I do, I know I mention this in every video, but new people keep coming to the channel. Six days a week, I eat high fat, moderate to high protein, OMAD for the most part, one meal a day basically carnivore style, zero carbohydrates in a 1000 calorie daily deficit. And then on the seventh day, I refeed with carbs and things. That's a chance for me to include some treats and carbs basically, but maybe cereal, maybe some sweets, maybe some biscuits, but it's not an excuse to go absolutely crazy. It's still regimented. The food's accounted for and I eat my maintenance, which is around 3,200 calories. I tend to not actually hit that amount because I tap out because I'm not used to eating that much food again. So Anyway, what it's going to change is, well, I, I'm setting in stone, I'm going to refeed with calories on Saturday. So kind of halfway through before that Wednesday. So what I mean by that is I'm still going to eat zero carbohydrates. However, I'm going to eat to my maintenance calories. So I'm basically going to eat an extra thousand calories on top of what I normally eat every single day. I might even go a little bit above that. Who knows? But the reason why I do that is to just give my body that bit of time to replenish again. I know it's not cars, but still, I don't want to be, like I said, too hungry. So that will give us another four days or so, three, four days to carry on digging heading into my birthday. So am I going to have a low, low weigh-in on next Monday? I don't know. Maybe. But if we keep heading down like we do over the next couple of days... I'm sure, well, I'm certain we'll have a low weigh-in just depending how much it is. But again, it doesn't really matter. Your birthday comes once a year, so I'm not too strung up on the weight. And I know the steps that I take still every single day are going to get us to our goal. We don't have to change the world overnight. Normally, most success comes from small changes every single day and they build up over time. And that's funny. That's happening on the channel too. I think my videos have improved since I've started. And I, I want to continue to improve them. To be honest, end plans are to actually almost daily vlog more rather than kind of sitting down at the end of the day or the morning the next day and, and commentating over the over what's happened. I'm sure I, I'll probably do a balance of both because I like doing this as well and maybe talking about a topic and things. But what I'm trying to say is you don't have to be the perfect finished article to start with. And that is actually what delayed me starting this channel for the most point, is I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted this transformation to be absolutely everything. And and it is to me, to an extent. But the channel and everything I was go going, I'm going to post on Instagram, I'm going to put, post on TikTok, YouTube, I'm going to be doing this, 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 and all in the videos. And what happened is it was just too much to try and do at once. And I never got started. I, I almost had mental fatigue before I had started and this is in regards to anything really the best thing to do is get going get the experience and you can improve it as you go along like I said you don't have to have perfection well you never get perfection anyway but you don't have to have the finished perfect article to start with and you're never going to get that anyway to be honest I know to an extent you still don't want to be putting out absolute rubbish but again you learn from it you learn from it and through the experience you find what works and what doesn't and you can keep building so how my videos are now i don't want them to be like this down the line i want to keep improving them i want to make them better and like i said i want to do more kind of daily vlog aspects am i doing that every day probably not i mean i don't do too much in the day anyway but maybe speak more 
in the moment when I'm making my food or with my food and and things. You you get the point. And, and maybe showcase a bit more of my day. I don't know. But again, it's all stuff that can come. I don't have to be doing it right now. And the stuff I can build to and learn because people try and do too much at once. And this is talking to myself now as well and what I did in the past. I, I tried to make pe- things perfect before I even got started. And then I never really ended up getting started. So what's the point, right? So that's what I did with the channel. I was like, right, we're just doing a weigh-in and we're filming in the gym. And that's how I started the channel. That's what what we've been doing thus far. And again, I think they have improved. I've added bits here and there. I think my talking's got better. And I still want to improve them. I still want to take it to that next level, still include different things. And that is the beauty of getting started, getting going. You're able to improve. And it's the best way to improve. The absolute best way. You can watch videos. You can plan stuff out. You can do all this, but nothing beats the experience of just getting in there and getting going. And that's, like I said, across all walks of life. That's in the gym too. Just get in the gym to start with. Have a look at the machines, try them out, see what works, see see how you feel. Maybe watch some YouTube videos or other things and see how other people are lifting, form and things. And then get in there for yourself. Just keep practicing. You're never going to be the finished article. I keep saying that, but you're not going to be great at the gym. I mean, I still learn new stuff and it's almost been 10 years of me going to the gym. So just get going on whatever you want to do whatever you want to do just get started to get going you learn along the way and it is the best experience for you but today was just the chest day uh not as heavy benching but more more reps feeling it and to be honest people my chest was absolutely fried and i've started to tag on some biceps at the end of my chest days too feeling very good but i will see you tomorrow for the next one that's it from me bye bye